I totally just gained a lot more friends with this move. Hindsight TV! <laughs> and by this move, I don't mean moving here in my apartment because I still have the same number of friends because I moved to this apartment, I would neither lost nor gained friends. Actually, that's not true. Stay at home and be yourself? Zero friends. Move out into an apartment? Zero friends. Move out into an apartment and tell your friends that you've got a pool that's twice as big as any other pool that they've seen? Five bajillion bajillion friends! Everybody wants to be my friend now. Daniel, I hear you've got a pool. Do you think I can come over and hang out? It's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> Back off. I swear one of these days I'll actually get my camera and I'll take you around the apartment. But no, the move that I'm talking about is quitting work. As most of you know, today was supposed to be my last last day at work. I know it didn't happen that way because I stopped working yesterday at around 12.45 p.m. Uh, simply because, let me set the setting for you. It's 12 noon. I'm taking a leak. Don't get your panties in a knot, we're not going to go into detail. I stand in front of the mirror after I'm done and I wash my hands, dry them. I look at myself in the mirror and I look at myself and I don't like what I see. I mean, I'm, you know, don't have the most horrible job in the world, but previously in the last week I'd been called a dog. I had been told to fuck off. I had been told that I suck multiple times, and I had forgotten to do windows, and people had been bent out of shape for fuck, no reason. So I'm looking at myself. I smell like gas. I look like shit. I'm tired all the time. I'm tired of working for a boss who doesn't appreciate me. I'm tired of working for people who don't appreciate me, and I'm tired of working with people who don't appreciate me. It wasn't the case for all of the people that I worked with, but for most. So I said, fuck it. I looked at myself and I said, I'm a human being, goddammit! My life has value! I had to get mad. And I wanted to walk out into the lobby and say, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take it anymore! It's not what I did. What I did was I pussied out for about a half an hour and I walked outside and stood there going, Oh, I really want to leave, but I don't want to piss people off. Because I knew that people were going to get pissed off. And somebody did. I'm sure that my boss did. But somebody was vocal about it. Fuck it. Who cares? Now, I will say this. Quitting on the spot was... I, it was never my intention to piss people off by quitting on the spot. Let's continue. There was actually one point where there was no cars and both people that I was working with were inside and I could have eased, I was telling myself, I was like, walk to the car. Okay, walk to the car. Ready? I'm gonna walk to the car. Three, two, one. Fuck, why am I not moving? My legs aren't even moving. Come on. We can do this. We can do They're not even here. They're not even here. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, fuck it. And I just didn't want to piss the guys that I was working with off. I figured they'd understand and one of them did. One of them didn't. But I figured they'd understand why. Anyway, so I talked to the one guy that I was really, you know, I didn't want to piss him off because he's a really good friend of mine. And I said, man, I just feel like leaving right now. And he said, yeah, me too. And I said, I think I'm going to do it. The only thing that's holding me back is any animosity you might feel towards me. And he goes, dude, you know what? I stopped caring about this place a long time ago. I don't care. And I was like, okay, peace. I walked off, walked to my car, went to got McDonald's, dropped some stuff off at the new place that I'm uh, trying to apply to. And uh, went and came back home. And it was a really good feeling. It was a really, I didn't, the one thing that I, you know, regret is that I didn't go out in style. I wasn't like, fuck you, flaming fists of fury, ah, oh, motherfuckers, take that, bollocks. Because uh, suddenly I'd be English. No, I just walked to my car, sat down, and turned it on, and went to McDonald's. But, so that's the topic of today. That wasn't the discussion yet. The discussion comes in, I don't think that people quitting on the spot, I don't think that's a reflection of their worth. Oh, fuck. I don't think that's a reflection of their work ethic. That's technically not working. If I was working and doing a really, really shitty job, that means I'm a bad worker. But if I quit on the spot, that doesn't mean I'm a bad worker. It doesn't even really necessarily mean I'm a bad person. Um, maybe a little selfish? Yeah, I'll admit to being a little selfish. I didn't want to work today. I didn't want to work yesterday. And I didn't. So I'll admit to being a little selfish. 
And you know what? I pissed people off. And I didn't intend to. I didn't do it with the sole reason of pissing people off. I knew that it was going to piss people off, but I didn't stop it. So, there you go. I did it because I was tired of working for an employer who didn't appreciate me. I was tired of working for people who didn't appreciate me. Like I said already, I've already said this. But, um, that was the reason that I walked off. So it's not a reflection of who I am as a worker. Because it's not. It's a reflection of who I am as a person. I couldn't dignify myself working there just for money in a place where I wasn't getting any respect or appreciation. I'm not going to do it. I don't care how much you're paying me. If everyone treats me like garbage, I'm just going to fuck off. So fuck you. I'm not going to stay. I don't care if you're paying me, like, minimum... If you're paying me minimum wage and you treat me well, I'll stay. Hell, I stayed through winter. I stayed through minus 46 Celsius to all my American friends. Uh, minus 46 with blasting winds right in her face. I stayed. So, I mean, it's not a reflection of who I am as a worker. It's a reflection of who I am as a person. I should have quit a long time ago. Honestly, I wanted to. There were days where I just did not want to go in. And what I'm saying is, no, now I'm not saying that if you dislike your job, quit. Because I've disliked almost every job that I've worked at at one point or another. I'm going back to Silver City. I've always told people, don't go there. I didn't have fun. But I'm not going to go there as me. I'm going there as a dude who needs a part-time job. He's just going to do his job, um, act the way they want me to act, and, and fuck off. The full-time job that I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get it as myself. I'm trying to get it as the guy who, you know, this won't be a career, but, you know, I could see myself moving up. You know? Everyone's going to have a job that they hate. You're going to find a career that you love. So if you're at a job that you hate, I'm not telling you leave right now. That's not what I'm saying. Although, if you do do it, make sure that it's badass. Make sure that you get, like, a bag of glitter and go... Take a big handful and throw it in your boss's face and say something stupid like Scalapaloo! And then walk off. You look like an idiot, but they've got glitter on their face. And do you know how hard that shit is to get off? Fucking hard. TV. <laughs> oh, I got a text message. Who is this from? Start running next week. Yes. I'm in Cuba. Where am I? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember my friend Torrent. Hey, girl, hey! But he's been texting me nonstop about doing stuff next week. Like, we should do this next week. Magic card draft next week. Let's start running next week. Next week, I'm in fucking Cuba. And I've told him this five times. So he just texted me, start running next week? And I'm like, where am I next week? Where? I really hope that he responds, oh, right. Cuba. Bracket. Red in Stewie Griffin accent. End of bracket. Cool. 